Okay, so I think that's all of the opening rolls covered. Now I just want to have a quick um, discussion about some more unconventional roles, let me say, that aren't necessarily textbook correct roles, but are interesting roles to talk about nonetheless. Um, the first one is one that sometimes I throw into the mix here with the 4-3. Now, I'm not recommending this as the correct move or anything like that, but it's one I've sometimes used, and that is to bring both checkers out from the back, playing the 4 here and the 3 here. It's rather eccentric, I know. But what, what this does for me is, of course, it's getting the back checkers moving, it's diversifying the numbers here. It's not doing anything for me on this side of the board, which is probably why it's not considered a uh, sort of correct move. But it has certain advantages, and it bears down very nicely on black outfield. On most of his response rolls here, he's got, black is going to be, if not hitting here and, and starting an exchange, he will be moving, having maybe having to move loose blocks into his outfield, and having the two here gives good coverage hitting uh, chances in, in Black's outfield here, and I think this is, and I like to throw this in from time to time in an opening, it's an unconventional opening, it's not terribly wild, it's not outlandish as the one I'm going to show you in a moment, but it is something I will try from time to time, it might be worth considering. Um, right, every player in most games are allowed uh, an eccentricity, an absolute crazy move. Uh, you, you know, in poker sometimes we'll favour some like a 10-2 or something. It's not that it's particularly a great hand, but it's just that they, they have a certain penchant for it. And I have a penchant for this one. And it is, I admit, crazy. And it's with a 4-1. Now, obviously the correct moves are either the 4-down and the split, or the 4-down the slot. But if you want to be really eccentric about it and play something that is, you know, it's like a sort of bag of chips. It's bad for you. You know it's bad for you, but you just can't help it. And this is my eccentricity to sometimes play a 4-1 by bringing out the 4 here and slotting the 1 here. Now, on paper, this is a pretty terrible move. Uh, you know, I'm slotting here without proper build of back up. But I just think when you have a point, sometimes on both five points, this can lead to some very interesting combinations of moves that follow, particularly exchanges on on the you know on either side of the board that can get you. Or more often than not, this is going to get you into a back game and a lot of trouble. But I do like to play this opening, especially to sort of throw people off. If you're playing people who stick to very conventional openings, this one is it's wild, it's wacky, and it's um, not to be uh, done lightly. <laughs> Okay, and the last move I just want to dis discuss here. This is a bit of a moan, and um, I shouldn't really moan at more beginning players because I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to help them. But I've got to just point this one out here, and that is openings. This is also uh, incidentally with the um, I don't know what I picked the dice up for. It's the same number four one. I see this played. I play online quite a lot, and I see uh, the lower rank players play. This move, it's time and time again this way, and uh, this is one I've got. This is one I've got to have to be strict here, and be stern and uh, commanding, and tell you not to do it. And this is what the, a lot of them will do. And I see this every time, and every time I see it, and I smell blood if I'm playing against these players, because what they will tend to do with a four-one here, they they have it in their minds that they've got to keep checkers safe, so they will play the four down here and then the one on straight onto here. Okay. Now it's not a disastrous moving that it's going to cost you the game straight away or anything like that. It'll probably cost you straight away about 1% of your game winning equity chances on that one move. The thing is, it does absolutely nothing really for your position. When they play this, all they're doing is transferring from a heavy point here to make a, an almost as heavy point here. They're not giving themselves any more diversity, any more moves on the next turn that they wouldn't have had if they hadn't made a move at all because they still can move from this point, this point, this point, this point. Uh, they're not giving themselves anything else to work with. They're not starting building anything. They're not putting builders in the outfield. They're not getting the back checkers moving. But they do it because they have it in mind that it's a safe point. I don't want to leave any blocks at all, so I'm going to play it safe. So, right, strict lesson. Lesson here. I'm, you. I'm talking to you. No, not you. You. Please don't do it. For the sake of your backgammon sanity, do not play 4-1 by bringing that to there. Unless, of course, you're being tricky about it and you just want to annoy uh, 
stronger players when you play them or, 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 or players will give them the impression that you're weaker than you actually are then you might want to try but I wouldn't recommend it so please play the 4-1 uh, in the more conventional manner okay I think that's about it thanks for watching <laughs>